Today I'm going to take you along on about three days of shooting in the bay with the Mumia 7. And of course I mostly focus on gear videos, but we all know gear isn't all that important, but it's fun, and today I wanted to focus on what probably actually matters, which is, you know, going out and taking photos. And for the gear heads, I already said this will be on the Mumia 7, it'll be with the 65.4, which is a 33 f2 equivalent in full frame terms. I'm also going to talk a little bit about working process, how to pick what you shoot. I think it's easy to make this kind of video when you, you know, went somewhere cool, unique, special, had a really good reason to shoot some photos, but I think for pretty much all of us, most of the shooting you do is going to be within, you know, several tens of miles of where you live. So I'd been wanting to take a few days off of work, so I did, and I made a point of shooting some photos each of those days. Day one, I've been gradually working through all of the various cities, towns, suburbs, places where no sane person would ever bother going to, and taking photos, walking around, and in the vast majority of cases it's pretty boring and you don't see much, but occasionally you stumble into some cool places and some nice light. And on the first day I went to a city called Dublin in the Bay Area. It's a suburb. There's not a whole lot going on. It looks like America. A lot of strip malls, shopping centers, roads with speed limits that are high, big parking lots, etc. And yeah, I've basically just taken the sort of throw a dart at a board approach. I don't literally throw a dart. Started the afternoon at Chick-fil-A because in keeping with the American theme of this day, I thought that was the most American thing I could eat. And a new thing that I've been doing when I visit areas is taking 10-20 minutes to drive around, sort of scope out the city, town, and see where I want to shoot. Maybe someplace there's interesting light, and that way I start off the trip on a good note, and then I can sort of wander wherever the day takes me. So I wandered around through a 99 Ranch parking lot, a Ross Dress for Less, a Target, and grabbed some shots. The light was fine when I got there, maybe a couple hours, two, two and a half hours before sunset, and then toward the end of the trip when I wandered through a residential area and then through a few more parking lots on the way back to my car, the light got pretty nice. It was cloudy, but there was also pretty warm light coming through the clouds. Day two, my wife had the day off. Don't really know why, but um, since we were both off, we drove into the city and we went to the sunset. In case you aren't super familiar with the bay, the sunset is a cold but pretty beachy area on the far west end of SF. You're directly exposed to that cold saline ocean air and so we went to Andy Town, which is a well-known and one of the better coffee shops in the bay. Had an espresso and a matcha plover which is like a heavy whipped cream and seltzer and matcha obviously drink that is weird but actually pretty nice and then we stopped for a burrito because it's california this is what we do it was very well made but um not mexican food finally after burning like two hours we started taking some photos we walked along the highway by the beach and then down onto the beach itself and snapped a few and just hung out on the beach really nice day surprisingly good weather for the sunset. Tail end of the day we worked our way down toward Pacifica, which is south of the sunset. Stopped at a few places along the beach. The light, especially as we got to the end of the day, was really pleasant with seemingly the saline, the water in the air like diffuses the sun. It basically looked like you were looking through a pro mist filter, but that's just actually what it looked like there. Day three, my friend Miguel had the day off, and so I met him in SF, and we went shooting. We weren't really sure where we were going to go, but he said he'd never been to Sausalito, and since it's a classic, also touristy part of the bay, we had to drive up. And we started our afternoon off with some coffee, because as obviously I'll take any excuse to not take photos and to waste time drinking coffee instead of making work. 
the coffee shop we went to is Equator. It's pretty well established in the Bay. I think they do a pretty decent job, especially I get their single origin espresso, which I think is good. And, and I pretty much just took the day as a day to relax because honestly, I really struggle to take photos in traditionally pretty areas. It feels like you can just sort of point your camera anywhere and get a quote unquote, like pleasant image. And it, other than in small doses, it wouldn't really fit with the rest of my work very well. So I mostly took it as an opportunity to go for a sort of urban hike and experience a pleasant day, etc. And just snapped a couple photos here and there. And we walked through Sausalito, which is not a long walk, and then up over a hill toward uh, the Coast Guard base that overlooks the Golden Gate. And caught some nice views, snapped a couple photos. I post these videos about once a month, typically right at the end. If you subscribe, YouTube might tell you when my other videos come out, or it might not. So do that if you want. A bit before this video came out, we hit a thousand subscribers on the channel, which I'm strangely excited about since I am woefully not optimizing for that kind of metric. Comments are down below if you have anything to say or you want to say hi, and all of the music photos, video, etc. are all under Creative Commons if you have something useful you'd like to do with them. Otherwise, hope you have a great month. I'll see you next time.